everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching today. And I really hope that you enjoy this video and decide to subscribe. So I have a couple of girlfriends from Texas coming in town for the weekend. They land tomorrow, which is Friday, and then they leave on Monday afternoon. Um, so I wanted to show y'all like how I get my place set up for guests. I love hosting people. I love kind of like spoiling them and making sure that the room is perfect, the guest bathroom is perfect, that we've got wine and snacks and I have like dinner plans and all of that. So I'm gonna be going over all of those things. I know for me personally, when I show up to someone's house, friend or family, anyone that I'm visiting, and like one of any of these things are done, I just feel like special and like they want me there and they're excited that I'm there and they're like kind of, you know, taking care of you and it feels more of like a vacation. Um, I'm not saying that like all of this stuff has to be done for me to enjoy staying with somebody. Quality time really is the best part of like any visit or any trip, but after a long flight or a road trip or whatever, like coming into somebody's house and having a nice clean space with fresh sheets and fresh towels and just a few things that make you feel more at home or like you just have the things that you need, I personally think feels so good and I always appreciate when people do that for me and I really love doing that for other people. So hopefully you guys get some ideas from this video of how to decorate or how to get ready for guests. Um, I'm almost 30 now and so this kind of stuff like brings me a lot of joy. Uh, decorating, getting ready, getting everything set up. I'm also a Virgo, so this is just very much my personality to have everything like perfect and ready and presentable for when people come into my space. Um, it doesn't look like this all the time, but yeah, it's very much like my sign to have it all together and have like a plan and have everything that people may need, you know what I mean? Um, but I definitely wasn't doing this like in my early 20s. Number one, I didn't have a guest bedroom when I was like 20 to 23 years old. Um, and I lived in Texas, so, and all my family lives there, all my friends live there, so I didn't have like a lot of people coming to stay. It was just, you know, we would just see each other throughout the weekend or the week or whatever. Um, but now that I live out of state, it's so important to me to have a space where my friends and family can come visit if they want to and feel comfortable and just feel like I have everything they need. So let's go start in the guest bathroom. I'll show you guys how I have that set up. It's all nice and clean. All right, so this is the guest bathroom. Um, I just recently changed out this rug right here. I used to have two like navy blue rugs, one there and one over there, but I found this really beautiful like printed runner at I think it was Marshall's. Um, it's not a bath mat, but um, I've taken a couple baths in here already and like when I step out on it, it's like barely any water, so. Um, but it was just too beautiful and perfect to pass up. I had to get it, so I absolutely love that. And then coming into the bathroom, here is this little setup over here. Um, you know, just stuff to like make it cute. This is filled with lotion. I have a really nice smelling candle in here and then like a little picture of Skye when she was a puppy. Of course, some hand towels and stuff. And then some magazines, just a little floral arrangement and decor and stuff. So where I got everything, we'll go over that now. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. This little flower arrangement is probably from like a Home Goods, Marshalls, Ross. You can find that pretty much at any home store. And then this little hutch right here, I actually found on Facebook Marketplace like five years ago. And I love it. It has come with us to the past like three houses. So I really like that. But um, I feel like you could find something close to this in, in your style or if this is your style on Facebook Marketplace, at an antique store, online, whatever, but I really like this. Yeah, super cute, goes with like my vibe. These two shelves were from Hobby Lobby and it just came with the shelves and then we also bought the little wall attachments um, at Hobby Lobby as well and just put those on. I like the little black accents. I have little black accents throughout my house so I like how that you know pulls it all in. Um, this planter was from Marshalls, um, but you can find similar ones again at like any home store. And then the plant up there was five bucks from Target. And then down here, this is probably from TJ Maxx Home Goods, that kind of vibe for like, I think eight or nine bucks. And like I said, it's just full of lotion. Then I have a cute little candle here. Again, you can get these at any home store. I got this one at Marshalls for like $7. The frame I got, at Marshall's on sale for like four bucks. And I love this like floral pattern and the colors like fit really well with like the white and the cream of the 
like linens and stuff in here. This white towel right here is probably from Target or like Bed Bath & Beyond. I think we got those when we got married. And then the hand towel right there, that's a Costa Luna by Target hand towel. And it was only 10 bucks and I love this kind of style, just the cream and white. Um, that's kind of like the theme I'm going for throughout my house. And then I will link this shower curtain and the, what are those called? Little shower hangers. Um, in the description box because it's from Amazon. But the reason I love it so much is number one, it was cheap and this is a very tall um, shower. So we had to get like an extra long curtain. And if you go to Target right now, they have all of the Costa Luna stuff kind of has this like waffled print. So it looks like a Costa Luna uh, shower curtain, but I think it was like half the price. And I got these and we have the same one in our master uh, bathroom as well. And then we also have these in the master bathroom, but they're black. Um, I like these silver ones because it matches with the silver rod and like the um, hardware throughout the bathroom. But I'll definitely link all of this below. I really, really like this. It looks nice. It looks more expensive than it actually is. And it's really long. Moving into the shower. Not a whole lot in here. I just scrubbed it out and cleaned it. This is like my bath taking tub. Um, and then our bedroom is like where I take my showers, but I love this bathtub for baths. So I just like keep it clean for that. Um, got a couple soaps over there. That is like Epsom salt. I usually have it completely filled and I put those in my baths. Um, I'll probably fill it up before they get here. If not, there's like enough in there for like one, one bath. And then I always have shampoo, conditioner, and some good body wash and then like a face wash in here. Um, yeah, it's just great to have all of that stocked up. All of those are like almost completely full and they're good brands and they smell good and they're good for you. So I like having like something nice in the bathroom um, for guests to use in case they didn't bring anything or whatever. That's like a, a necessity. Moving on to like the toilet area, of course, toilet paper, trash can, an extra roll of toilet paper. And I like to have this basket full of with an extra roll and then also wet wipes in case you go poop and um, some room sprays in case you go poop as well. <laughs> I feel like the room spray and like the wet wipes and all that stuff, they're extra, but when you're staying at someone else's house and you just pooped in their bathroom, it's an apartment, so it's small, you know? Like you don't want it to smell bad and you wanna just, it's nice to, have like that kind of comfort of like, okay, it's all right, there's some room spray and I've got everything I need to like take care of business. Um, so yeah, I always keep that stocked with room spray, extra toilet paper and some wipes. And then when they get here, they'll have their towels. I always have two body towels and then on the top I'll put two face towels. Um, not everybody likes to use like the body towel for their face as well. So I like to just have that out so they know like that's yours to use and they don't have to like go looking through the cabinets for you know what they need and then of course a full thing of hand soap and then over here i have a jar this actually used to be a candle and i did the freezing thing and then popped out the candle and um it's just perfect because this matches the top of the candle that's over on the shelves over there and it matches like this and the frame so like it all kind of ties in um, yeah, I really like that. So there's some Q-tips in there. And then I just got, you can find this at any home store as well. And there's just some cotton pads in there for makeup removal or like putting on toner or whatever. Just the things that you would need to, you know, after a bath or a shower or whatever. And then this is from Hobby Lobby as well. It's just like that one, but that's eucalyptus. And that one is lavender. And then I have another Casa Luna hand towel. Again, 10 bucks. I love that. I think it looks so nice. Um, I washed it and dried it. It's a little bit wrinkly, but I don't, I don't think it looks too bad. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here. Oh, this was the other thing. Um, I just got these. It's a two pack of hair wraps that I got at Ikea and I just hung them up here after I washed them so that they know that they can use them. So if they wash their hair while they're here, they can wrap their hair up throw on a towel and they're good to go. So I'm really proud of this bathroom. I feel like in my opinion, if I was staying with somebody and I walked in here and saw that it literally had everything I needed, I would just feel so comfortable and happy and welcomed. I just love that feeling of like having everything you need and not having to like poke around or ask the, your host or whatever like where's this where's that like having it all out and ready just feels really nice and i feel like just by doing that simple step of like putting out the towels putting out the q-tips and 
the face wipes and extra toilet paper and stuff, just like having it all available just makes your like guest experience that much better. I know I would sound like a freaking Airbnb host or like a bed and breakfast host right now, but like I find this to be really fun taking care of other people and them feeling comfortable in my house. So yeah, just having all the things out and ready just makes it that much better when you show up to someone's house or they show up to your house or whatever. You, you guys know what I mean. So next, let's move on to the guest bedroom. Okay, so this is the guest bedroom. I just shampooed the carpets last week because they were pretty dirty because the dogs are always in here. So that's nice and fresh. Um, I need to do another round, but I'm not gonna do it before they get here. But it looks really good. It looks a lot cleaner than it did before and then obviously like vacuumed and everything. So we'll start here with the bedding. The white cover right here, this is actually a duvet cover and there's a duvet inside from Ikea and this um, cover as well as the two shams there are from Ikea and the sheets are also from Ikea. And this bed is so comfortable. That's another great thing when you're traveling after you've been driving or flying, like your back and body's all messed up. So to have just like a comfy, clean space feels so nice in my opinion. Um, and then that throw blanket I got a couple weeks ago from Ikea as well. It's really big, it's like a queen size, it's thick, it's great uh, quality, I really like that. And I'm trying to bring in more of, like I said, the kind of cream uh, nude colors with the white. But I kept the gray in here because of the gray curtains and the gray chair and I already had the stuff so it just kind of fits. Um, and then right here obviously I have some fresh flowers. I just picked these up from Trader Joe's today and I have no idea where the vase is from. I think it was from flowers that were sent to me for my birthday and then I just used the vase. Um, but I like this little tray and the flowers and stuff just walking into the room with some fresh flowers. I just feel like it's so cozy and welcoming and they smell really nice too. It just brings some life to the bedroom. And then another great thing to have is like a full body mirror, especially if you're having some girls come in town. I use this mirror all the time. I'm sure you guys have seen in my videos, on my Instagram, whatever. But when it's like time to get ready and go out, it's so nice to put your outfits together and have a full body mirror to like check everything and get ready. So I love having this in the guest bedroom. And then right here, this is just a Dyson air purifier. David and I have one in our room and then we obviously have one in here. Since we live in the city and we have dogs, so there's like a lot of dust and dirt. So I have that on auto most of the day um, to kind of just clean the air and like, you know, just clean the air. That's literally what it's for. Um, and then our closet is completely full with storage. So I put out this clothing rack. Um, definitely got this from like Walmart or Amazon uh, for, under 20 bucks, I think it was like 10 or $15. So if they have any clothes I need to hang up, obviously I have some hangers there. And then this hanging rack, since my closet is literally completely full, there's nowhere to hang anything or put anything. So just having that there so they can like put out a dress or something like to get out the wrinkles or whatever, that's kind of nice to have if you don't have a hanging space for when people come to visit. And this room kind of doubles as like an office space for us. So I went ahead and of course there's like a lamp there. I love like lamp lighting, turning off the main lights and turning on that lamp. And this lamp, I just love how cozy that feels. So I have that and then I have a little candle here. It's actually a candle from Texas and it smells so good. It's the Longhorn Vanilla. I love this. If you are from Texas and you go to HEB, they have these like in the home, in that card, like birthday kind of section over there. Um, really love these. So I went ahead for this kind of desk area space, put this like vanity mirror. So if one of the girls wants to do their makeup here, their hair here or whatever, like they can just prop that up and someone can get ready here and someone can get ready to the bathroom you know, whatever. So that way they have like a top space where they can put out their makeup. And also the desk is nice so that they can lay out their things. That lamp is from the at-home store. The desk is from Wayfair. The chair is from either Wayfair or Overstock. And that mirror is from Ikea. And then over here, just like some decor, that is from Hobby Lobby. All of this right here is from the at-home store and the greenery is from Hobby Lobby. And this right here, I believe, is from Overstock. And that's completely full of linens and stuff, so it's not usable for guests, but um, still looks nice. And I like, you know, having like a little decor there. It just like livens up the room a bit. 
And then this end table right here, I believe was also from Overstock. I ordered these two together. For the end table, I just have another lamp. The lamp is from Marshalls. And then that right there, I think is from Ikea. You wanna always have some kind of side table or something set up next to the bed where people can put their phones, if they're having like some water at night, whatever. Just you wanna have something where people can put their things. And then obviously these big thick curtains. If you close these up, this room is like so dark and cozy. I got those at Ikea. They're extra long and the bar is from Ikea as well. And then some other things, obviously if everybody is above 21, having some like wine chilling. I have a couple white wines in the wine cooler right now, like getting ready to open. And then I have some red wine options and I'll probably pick up like some tequila if we wanna do like a crazy girls night and like take some shots and stay up late and like dance around and eat junk food, that kind of vibe. Um, and then I have like chips and snacks and a few meals that I wanna make them that I know that they will like. Just, you know, things to be the best host I can and make sure that my guests have a great time and they're comfortable and having fun. I think that is everything. Um, I think the only thing I didn't talk about really was these throw pillows and all of those were uh, things that I just found at like Marshall's, Ross, Home Goods. All of this kind of stuff that you see, you can find those things at those stores. Um, but if I can find the furniture and stuff, I will link that in the description box if you're interested. Um, if it's not linked, comment below and um, I will reply and let you know where to get it. But yeah, I hope this kind of gave you guys some ideas for if you're hosting people, you have friends or family like coming to your space, just little things you can do to like make it cozy and like a just a really nice, comfortable experience for the people coming to stay with you. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed making this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and do not forget to look out for the video after this one. It'll be this weekend, girls weekend of everything we're doing and all of that. So I will see y'all in that video.